I'm trying to convince a woman who knows physics to um, work with me, but I can't use her name because I use the word and she probably doesn't want to be associated with me. But you never know. Anyway, uh, so uh, I just want to go over how to... Uh, um, she has sponsors and stuff, and using the word would probably be bad. <laughs> anyway, so uh, um, we have a company, uh, Distro. You select um, what? Oh shit! Hold on a second. Out copies the files from VMware to the TAD home directory. There's a all my files go in the TAD directory, and then inside there is TAD home, and this is my um, Temple OS copy. And anyway, and the other one is uh, there's my website is www.tempos.org. So those have those have to be in the right places. Um, the other thing, you need a mount point um, in my mount directory, um, VM disk. Um, I think you need to create a mount point. This is for QEMU. And one more thing is uh, in. Uh, in the VMware, you need to, oops, VMware, where is that? Um, that's weird. Um, you need to name it, uh, well, I guess we need the location too, don't we? Um, the, uh, the VM where the, I, I sent you the script files, the mount will mount uh, you have to tell it the uh, VMDK file. VMware, okay, it's not the dot VMware, okay. So you have to name it TOS, Temple OS. So you go to the tad direct you go to the home directory, VMware. TOS is the name of, that you that you need if you're going to use my scripts. Um, I don't think they'll nuke your system. My scripts won't nuke your system. But anyway, um, so uh, now then you want to install the ISO file that I sent. So you go to File, New Virtual Machine. You need to buy the VMware. Um, shit. I didn't generate my ISO. Hold on a second. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, so, to generate the company ISO file, go make, make TOS ISO. This is copying all the files and it's gonna make an ISO file. And that's how you distribute an operating system. Uh, so this has everything on the standard distribution plus some uh, public domain books that are um, handy for uh, random passages. Anyway, so I just generated the ISO file and now when I copy it out. This copies my home directory out in my now okay I wanted to show how to make a new new virtual machine typical ISO file. Oh I didn't did I I didn't do out? I can swear I did out.
Oh, I know what's going on. No, I don't know what's going on. What the truck? Let's try that one more time. What? That's okay, so if we go to the D drive, it should have the ISO file there. Control D. The D drive is what you transfer in and out in the web directory. There's the ISO right there. Okay. So it has the ISO file. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place. Um, out. You have to be powered down to, to copy the files out. Yep. Oops, shit. Okay. Now, file. Oh, I know where. Oh, I know what's going on. It's the, uh, it's in the Dropbox. No, I don't know where it is. So let's go to Tad. Oh, it's in Dropbox. Yeah, that's that's the wrong place. We want the other one. Okay. I was just looking in the wrong place. Okay. So TOS. This is the Temple OS TOS version. Other. Now you need to say TOS right here. You need to say TOS. I'm gonna say TOS two. This size, just leave, that's fine, the default is fine, 8, customize hardware. Okay, the important thing, you want up to 8, process, however many processors you have, that's multi-core. Um, the other thing is memory. Um, give it, well, you should know how much memory you have on your system. I have like 8 gig, so I'm going to give it 5 gig. And... Uh, you can just leave the rest unless you unless you want to prove that it's God, then you can remove the you can remove the network. You can remove. I don't have the sound card support. I just have PC speaker. So um, that's all you need to do, and um, then it's going to. Uh, it's automated. Okay, install onto hard drive. Yes. Are you in are you in VMware? Yes. Press the key. So this is going to make um, two identical um, disk partitions, C and D. Um, D is the one that you want to do all your transfers in and out of. C is your master, and you uh, when you make a backup, you uh, it'll regenerate the. Uh, um, there's, let me just show you around. Okay, so it's copying all the files onto C and all the files onto D. Reboot, yes. Okay, that's all there is to it. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, let me cover that again. So, um, reboot. When you boot, yeah, this is the bootloader. You either do one or two for the C or D drive. They're, you keep them identical you back up a snapshot every a couple times a day so number one so uh, in order to recompile the kernel you do make OS drive install this is to make the C drive so that just recompiled the kernel and compiler and then you can reboot with a RAM reboot um, that loads the new kernel now, if you want to do the D drive, go go control down to the bottom, and then make boot D drive. You can you can boot to the D drive if you want right here. Ram boot D drive. Now it's red. That's because it's the D drive. Um, let's go ahead and reboot to the C drive. So if you crash your C drive startup scripts, you boot to the D drive. Um, anyway. Uh, so uh, yeah, that that's the most important thing. Make OS, and then RAM reboot. So that's and uh, here's the change log. Do Control Y to delete, and then Alt Shift F6. Oh, that's not the right one. Alt F6. 
Alt F6 does the date time. And Control M. And here's the blog. Um, that's the website blog. Um, so uh, uh, this is what you do. <clears throat> okay, right now, we, if you hit Control D, you get to the file manager. And there's a there's a C and a D drive that are identical. Um, the only thing that's not on everybody else's is the home directory. This has my personal budget anyway. Um, downloads this 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 entire directory I put on my website. People can can access it. This is nothing in there. That's I don't even have anything in there for me. Then <clears throat> the web directory. This is part of my this these are this is my, these are my website file special files like here's my index um, it converts them from my text doll doc format to HTML when you uh, we're gonna regenerate the uh, this is gonna copy C to D it's and it's gonna make an image of my website on the D drive it takes about I don't know five five minutes um, that's in VMware. Anyway, so we're we're done with that for now. So um, then, what you do once you once you reach a point where you want to copy out, you do VM out. You power down. You have to power down. Then you do VM out, and that 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 regenerates the TAD home and the www then the www directory. If you want, you can modify the the VM out. <laughs> Okay, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, Timestamps are important because of uh, synchronizing with the website. Um, anyway, so uh, did you see in there? It copies the uh, it copies the Temple OS. It copies w, It copies the website out of. Um, no, it removes the it removes the current one. It removes home. Then down here it copies um, home out of the out out of VMware out of VMware disk. Oh, there's where it copies the um, part of the website. I guess it's not the whole thing. Um, the web directory to the to the, to that location. Okay. So um, that's that's how that works. So once you, you hit out to copy into Linux, and then finally, cross FTP is what synchronizes the website. Um, so to do this, you do you do uh, synchronize. Director, this this costs like twenty five dollars. This program, you can find it on the web for Linux. Cross FTP um, Enterprise, maybe it costs fifty dollars. I think it costs fifty dollars now. Synchronized directory. Um, include subdirectories. Ignore date. And then Q Q settings, and then you hit this button, and it'll start synchronizing. I'm going to delete this because I don't want this. Um, because I don't want it. It takes a long time. Anyway, the other thing is uh, uh, you have to set up the uh, the sites. This is this is a hard this is hard to do. Um, maybe you can just take a snapshot. I don't even remember all this stuff. Um, uh, well. FTP templeos.org. I, I gave you the password. What is this username? Lose those at templeos.org. Okay. Well, the password. Um, the. I think maybe I modified max login security. Uh, FTP. The important thing is uh, you have to tell it. What? Where is that? Um, 
there's there's a TSL and uh, another thing oh there it is here yeah TLS FTPS TLS that's what you need um, you have to set that anyway so um, and then there's another this is a free file this is for single files um, FileZilla this will do secure FTP so you have to set you have to set that up file site manager FTP protocol FTP over TLS lose those at templos.org that's my Yahoo login and that's my website um, it's kind of weird that it puts the two together FTP password uh, so um, anyway this is how I I upload one file at a time using this I don't think this one this one is free I don't think it does synchronizing um, so okay now we just it just it finished so we do stop and then output out copy out and then synchronize so um, my files are in um, there's a Dropbox I put my Dropbox onto a Dropbox and uh, anyway uh, so the home directory is on there everything's on there um, so the bin directory has all my scripts um, be careful look look at them first to make sure they don't do anything I don't think there's anything that will hurt your Linux install uh, so uh, this will this is the uncompressed tool for for if you want to uncompress a temple OS file in Linux you can do that um, so these are for making um, uh, videos and stuff so uh, there's VM you can make a movie of uh, consisting of a bunch of bitmap frames F FFmpeg will make a movie out of them and uh, now I just use uh, this uh, OBS thing for movies um, it's a lot simpler and easier um, anyway so uh, I think that's uh, everything went